Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a discount percentage rate to your order form and invoice in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Jerry in Tacoma, Washington, one of my gold members. Jerry says, I've been using your invoicing template for a while now. Thank you for making that available. You're welcome. How can I add a discount percent to the order? So if I'm having a 25% off sale, it's easy to calculate. Well, Jerry, it's easy to add a dollar amount discount, right? If you give someone like a $10 credit, you could just type in negative 10 and make that a line item. But if you're going to do a discount percentage, it's a little more work, but it's not that hard. It's a little bit of math. Let me show you how to do it. For the rest of you who have not watched the invoicing video, go watch this now. It's absolutely free. It's on my website. You can even download a free copy of this database if you want to. There's the link. I'll also put a link down below in the description below the video. You can click on that. Go watch it. Go get a copy of the database. And here we go. Okay, so here's the template. You got the customer form. Each customer can have multiple orders. And what I want to do is I want to specify a discount percentage for the order as a whole and then down here we'll calculate what the discount should be and then subtract that from the subtotal to get an order total so the first thing we need is a place to store that information we're going to put that in the order table so let's go to design view the order table will come right down here i'm going to type in discount percent we'll make that a number and then we'll make that a double Remember, there's really only two types of numbers you got to worry about. There's long integer, which is the default type. And that's just counting numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, zero, and they're negatives. And if you want a fractional component, like a percentage, you're going to use double. Don't use decimal. Don't use single. Just use double or long integer. Format, if you want, you can put percent in there. Decimal places is up to you. If you only do whole discounts, like 25%, you know, 50%, then you can set that to zero, or if you might have a you know 1.5%, it all depends on what you're doing. I just leave it at auto, it covers pretty much every situation. All right, save that. Now let's go over to the data sheet view real quick, and we gotta put some values in here for the existing record. So I'm just gonna put zeros in for everybody right now. Now, if you got a bunch of orders in your table already and you don't feel like doing that manually, you can use an update query to update everybody to a 0%. Again, if you've never done an update query before, I got a video for it. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. Okay, now we're going to add that field to the order form. So right-click, design view. I'm going to make some extra room in here. Let's stick it below the customer. So I'm going to select all this stuff here and just slide this down a little bit. All right. Let's go to the form design tab, go to add existing fields. There's discount percent. We're going to drop it right there. I'm going to use the format painter and just paint over that guy so it looks good. And we could change the label to say discount with a percent sign because it's a little long. We'll just squeeze that right there. Slide you over a bit more. And there we go. Make sure that's left aligned. Okay, good. All right, let's see what it looks like. Save it. Let's close it. And open it back up again. Okay, good. There's my discount percent. Now, it doesn't do anything yet. If I type in a 5, all right. Whoop. Oh, that's another thing I don't like. Since I just brought that field in, it's the last field in the tab order. And when you tab past it, it's going to move to the next record. I personally don't like that. So I'm going to go into the form design one more time. Go right here where the form properties are. Go to other. And I'm going to change cycle to current record. Current record just means it'll loop back to the first field on the same record instead of going to the next one. So now if I come back in here, save changes, yes. Now if I come in here and I type in like a 7 and hit tab, it just loops back up to the top. That's how I, that's how I like this one. Okay, now down below here, in the footer of the subform right here, remember we've got to click there twice, right? If I click here once, now I've just selected the subform. I want to click in there a second time. Now I'm working with the actual subform fields. Okay, let's make that smaller. And I'm going to put a label next to this now so we know what it is. I'm going to copy one of these labels, click on that guy and hit paste, and that'll attach that label right to that, that text box. This will now be the subtotal. All right, and I can rename that subtotal too. Let's call it subtotal. And let's not bold it. Unbold. Okay. 
And I'm going to copy and paste this. Copy, paste, paste. Copy it twice. All right, we've got two copies here. Now, the first one is going to be the actual discount in dollars. All right, we'll name this guy discount. And what's this going to be? Let's go over to data. And it's not going to be the sum of the extended price. What's it going to be? Anybody pause the video if you want to try and figure it out yourself. All right, that's how you learn best, by figuring it out yourself. The discount is going to be what times what? See if you can figure it out. Okay, it's going to be this subtotal times this percentage rate, and then we've got to make it negative, right? So it's going to be equals subtotal times. Now, we have to get the value off a different form. There's a couple ways you can reference it, but the easiest way is forms, exclamation point, order F, exclamation point, discount, percent. And it's right there. Okay. Now, just see what we got there. Save it. Close it. Open it up. All right. Looks good. Ah, but look at that. If you click on it, it's deceiving because it's only showing it to you as a currency, but it's rounding. You get that little fraction of a penny there. Right, it, the view it rounds it off. You can't really see it, but if you click on it, I was I was hoping I'd get that number. All right, so we got to round that value off now. So come back in here, design view. All right, come back into discount, and we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shift F2 to zoom in so you can see this better. We're gonna round this whole thing off. So round, and then open parentheses, and then at the very end, comma two. Round that off to two decimal places, and we want to make it negative, right? If it's a 10% discount, it's gonna be negative some value. So just times negative one. Okay, see all that? And if you don't know what this is, that form field notation, I got a whole video that explains that better. All right, it's called form name. Look down in the link section below for that too. And I also have a video on the round function. Go watch that. Lots of, lots of videos to get you to this point. So if you don't understand any of this stuff, go watch those videos. I'll put a whole set of links down below for you. Okay, all right, let's hit okay. This avoids the Superman 3 problem, right? With the rounding of a penny or office space depending on which one you like better. Okay, so there we go. And if you click here, notice it's exactly negative 3.88. Okay, but now we gotta figure out the total total, right? We gotta take this and add that to it. We're adding a negative number, which is the same as subtracting, right? So design view, this will now be the order total. And this guy will now be uh, equals the subtotal plus the discount. All right, and yes, we will bold these ones. Let's bold those. Format, bold, and did I, let's see, I got good names for this stuff here. All discount and, no, not text 17. We'll call this order total. All right, close it, open it up, and there you go. That's a beautiful thing. There's your discount. Now, here's a little quirk with the way Axis works. If you change some value in here, let's say you make this three cupcakes now, and if you move off that record, watch the order total. See, it updates. Okay, but if you come up here and change this to say 10% and tab, it doesn't change. All right, this, this doesn't refresh these fields down here until you hit the refresh button up top. Now it updated the discount, see? I come in here and put this back to five, and then hit refresh, it updated the discount. Now. Don't be scared. I'm going to teach you a tiny little bit of VB. Remember, I always say, learn a little teeny tiny bit of VB and it makes your database a whole lot more powerful. We can use one line of code in the right place to make that automatically refresh itself. Watch this, design view. Go to that field, go to events and go to after update. Hit the dot, dot, dot button. All right, I get the code builder. If you get a window up that says, what builder would you like? Pick the code builder. And then in here, we're just going to say me.refresh. That's it. That's all you got to put in there. That says, after I update this field, refresh all the calculations on the form. All right. Save it. I'm going to close that. Close that. Open it back up again. Now, if I come in here and I put in like a 10. All right. Let's watch the totals. Tab. There they go. See? It automatically refreshed all the calculations. If you want to learn more VBA, go watch my free intro to VBA video. It's about 20 minutes long, teaches you all the basics. You only need to know a couple of different commands to make your databases a whole lot more powerful.
Okay, now we got to put the same thing in our invoice because right now our invoice doesn't have the discount in it. All right, the good news is we can use pretty much the same fields we had over here. Okay, so right click design view. All right, and I'm going to try and fit these both on the screen at the same time here. Okay, let's put the discount right over here. So I'm just going to copy this guy, copy and paste. And it comes in over on the left. I hate that. And click and drag. Click and drag and sit you right there. Line these labels up a little bit. Okay. And then down below, got to make a little room in here. All right. We'll do the same thing. I'll grab a label, copy, click, paste. That attaches it there. Let's match the font size. What is it? Uh, about 16, I'm going to say. Yep, 16. So we'll come over here. We'll make this guy 16 point. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's unbold this stuff. And I'm just going to copy and paste this guy. Copy, paste, paste. All right. This will be the subtotal. This will be the discount. And this will be the order total. All right. And let's set these guys up here too. So some extended price, we're going to rename that to subtotal. This we're going to name discount. And this we're going to name order total. Okay, those are the names of the fields. Now let's put the updated calculations in here. Discount, we're going to get from this guy. Let's open up his properties. Double click. And we're going to copy that function right there. So shift F2, zoom in, select it all with the mouse, copy it. Let's close that. Come back over to here. Bring up your properties and then paste that in the control source there. So there's my discount. And then this one was easy, right? This one was just the equals the subtotal plus the discount. All right, save it. Let's close it. Close it. Close it. Sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I like to go back in from the top. All right. So orders, invoice, and there we go. That should match that. Looks good. Oh, we got the stupid box around that. I hate that box. Right click, design view. We'll just use, uh, ah, you could format paint, but we'll just go up here. It's easy to do. We'll go to format and we'll go to shape outline and we'll set it to transparent. Save it, close it, and one more try. And there we go. Beautiful. Looks fantastic. Now, if you want to learn more, in the extended cut for the members, I cover tiered discount rates. What does that mean? Well, one of my students emailed me a little while ago and said, I like to give the customer a discount based on how much money they've spent with me in the past. So let's say, for example, the customer has spent $1,000, then they get a 10% discount, right? If they spent more than $5,000, they get a 15% discount and so on. So I'll show you how when you create the order, it'll automatically calculate how many total sales they've had in the past and make that the discount percentage for the new order. That's covered in the extended cut for the members. And if you really want to learn more about building an order entry system, in my Access Expert Level 8 and 9 classes, I cover a lot more, including calculating sales tax, uh, the proper rounding of values, final product and tax totals. We do taxable items. So you might have certain items on an order that are taxable and are not taxable. Like if you sell groceries and clothes, for example. And then in Expert Level 9, we do multiple sales tax calculations. For example, each customer can have their own taxable rate or whether they're taxable or not, because you might have certain customers that are tax exempt. Okay. And you can have different rates for each order. And that's all covered in Access Expert Levels 8 and 9. I'll put links to these down below. But check out the extended cut for the members. Silver member is an up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's well over 200 of them now. And gold members can download these databases and have access to my code vault. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. 
You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.